Now, all month long, we're gonna be talking about our virtue of creativity. Can you say creativity with me on three? One, two, three. Creativity. Now, creativity is imagining what you can do because you're made in the image of God. Now, all month long, we're gonna be talking about what it means to be made in the image of God and how God made us to be creative. Now, before we get ahead of ourselves and do some fun experiments, I want us to sing our song brighter. So everybody stand up to your feet and let's sing. That was some fun singing. Now, we have a brand new Bible verse. Did you hear me? We have a brand new Bible verse. It comes from Psalms 145.3. Now, Psalms is in the Old Testament, so you're gonna go back to the left to the beginning of your Bible, but there's a little trick I want to tell you. When you open your Bible in the middle, you open to Psalms. So find Psalms, big 145, and then little three. And it says, Lord, you are great. You are really worthy of praise. No one can completely understand how great you are. Let's say that all together on three. One, two, three. Lord, you are great. You are really worthy of praise. No one can completely understand how great you are. Great job. All right, Camp Renovate. Now we're gonna check out a very special story in the book of Genesis. Now we're gonna look at the story of creation. Now there's seven days of creation. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we're gonna start in Genesis one. So if you have your Bible, turn to the very first book in your Bible. Now, let's not get ahead of ourselves. We're gonna break it down day by day. 
Now we look in the book of Genesis. The first verse, it says, In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Now God said, Let there be light, and there was light. Now, I have this jar right here. This is going to represent day one. And there was light. God saw that light was good. Now God called light day, and he called darkness night. There was evening and morning. That was day one. Now day two, God said, let there be a huge space between the waters. Let it separate water from water. And that's exactly what happened. God made a huge space between the water. He separated the water under the space from the water above it. God called the space, the huge space, the sky. There was evening and there was morning. That was day two. Day one, God created light and dark. Now day two, God created the sky and the water. Well, God had something massive just around the corner. Land, right here. He had land and he had sea. Day three was huge. Not only did God create dry ground, but he also made plants to grow in the ground. So the land produced plants, every kind of plant you can imagine. Plants had its own kind of seeds. And the land produced trees that grew with fruits and seeds in it. Every kind of tree and every kind of seed. God saw that it was good. There was evening, there was morning, that was day three. Now things were really starting to take shape, but God still had some creating to do. Now let's read Genesis 1, 16 through 18. It's God made two great lights. He made a large light to rule in the day and a smaller light to rule at night. He also made stars. God put lights in a huge space in the sky to give light on the earth. He put them there to rule over the day and the night. He put them to separate the light from the darkness. Yes, so on day four, God brought some amazing creations to life. The sun, the sun was so bright. He also made the moon and the stars. Now let's read Genesis 1, 19. There was evening, there was morning, that was day four. But God was far from finished. Let's check out what happened next on day five. God said, let the seas be filled with living things. Let the birds fly above the earth across the huge space in the sky. So God created huge, great sea creatures. He created every kind of living things that fills the sea and moves about in them. He created every kind of bird that flies and God saw that it was good. Yes, this is where things start getting really exciting because we have animals. We have fish and birds even dinosaurs. Now let's read Genesis 1, 22 through 23. God blessed them. He said, have little ones so that there will be many of you. Fill the waters in the sea. Let there be more and more birds on earth. There was evening, there was morning, that was day five. So we have fish and birds, and obviously there's more animals to go. God kept going on day six. God made every kind of wild animal you could think of. He made livestock, he made every creature that moves around the ground. He saw that it was good. Now God's creation had gotten pretty exciting. We have light, darkness, water, sky, birds, animals, but the best is yet to come. Genesis 1, 27. So God created human beings in his own likeness. He created them to be like himself. He created them as male and female. Yes, God had saved his best for last. On day six, God created people. He created me and you. Now God had important instructions for his people he created. God blessed them. He said to them, have children so that there will be many of you. Fill the earth and bring it under your control. Rule over the fish in the seas and the birds in the sky. Rule over every living creature that moves along the ground. God had done it. He had made light and dark, sea and water, land and sea, plants, the sun, the moon, the stars, fish, birds, and all other sorts of animals and people. Now let's read verse 31. God saw everything he had made and it was very good. And there was evening, there was morning, that was day six. Now what did God do next? Well, listen to this. Genesis 2, 2 through 3. By the seventh day, God had finished his work he had been doing. So on that day, he rested from all of his work. God blessed the seventh day and made it holy. Now let's remember our virtue of creativity. Imagining what you can do because you are made in the image of God. Let's say that all together. One, two, three. Creativity. Imagining what you can do because you are made in the image of God. Wasn't that 
so cool how God created the earth and everything in it one day at a time? Let's pray before we go to our creative God. Dear Lord, you are so worthy of our praise. We thank you that you are creative God. We thank you that you give us the gift of creativity. We thank you that we are made in your image. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, Camp Renovate, it's been so much fun hanging out with you today. Now, I have something very special I want you to do this week. I want you to draw a picture, one for every day of creation that we talked about. So if you forgot them, you can go back and check them out in the story. All right, see you next week. Bye.